Hi, welcome to Attainable Green. I'm Jess, and today we're going to be talking about my recent trip to cow orchids. Cow Orchids is a working nursery in Santa Barbara, California, and recently they had an open house and sale to show off um, all of the plants they have in store, and they had a special Neophonesia judging as well. I was able to go and check it out, so there are a couple of things I want to share with you about this amazing place called Cow Orchids. This orchid nursery specializes in a handful of genera, but all of them are beautiful and super stunning. Um, this nursery is considered a working nursery, so they don't have a dedicated showroom. Um, so when you go, it's in a residential area and you just need some street parking, which isn't too hard to find, but um, for larger events like this, it's best to carpool and then know that you're gonna walk some distance to get to the nursery itself. Since this is considered a working nursery, they don't have a dedicated showroom with uh, tons of plants and displays. There is a couple of booths um, outside for other vendors and inside the greenhouses. A lot of the more popular plants are set out with um, a tag and it has uh, the flowers that are gonna be in bloom or the parents of the hybrids, as well as stickers with prices on it. Not only do they have orchids, but they have really interesting succulents, cacti, uh, tillandsia, ant plants, and like so much more. Inside the greenhouses, there were rows and rows trays and trays of beautiful plants. Um, some of them are on the younger side, so they're not really for sale. Some of them are either breeding plants or mature plants that are also not for sale. But I would say that the majority of product on um, the trays and on the aisles were for sale. So they had lots of beautiful cattleyas and the summer blooming species and hybrids were in bloom and they definitely caught my eye. The beautiful thing about these summer blooming cattleyas is that they have these big waxy flowers, they have showy blooms, and they have a nice fragrance as well. So when you walk into the greenhouse, there are a lot of amazing, pleasant scents as you walk on by. Not only that, they had a nice and gray coid section. So there are orangus um, and gray cums and um, all of the subspecies in that umbrella. A lot of these plants are on the smaller side. Um, so it's really easy to kind of pick them up and find a place for them. And also they had a couple of them on mounts as well. And for these types of plants, I think the majority of them do well on mounts. So aside from cattleyas and, and gray coids, they also had epidendrums, they had some vidiums, they had some brawlias, um, they also had some dendrobiums as well. So there was a huge variety of plants available and, and I really enjoyed just going down the aisles and looking at them. One of the features that I found really stunning was actually the staghorn ferns or the platyceriums. There was a huge wall of them with giant specimen plants and even just smaller pups for sale. And that was really unique because I, I don't think I've seen that many staghorns in a single location before. There were several other vendors there. So there was diamond orchids and Peter Lynn had a nice selection of all his uh, mini cattleyas, vandas, and uh, small miniature plants. Another vendor is golden gate orchids and he had a spectacular Dendrobium Cuthbertsonii selection. The display itself was really nice with all the flowers in bloom, all the beautiful colors, and the deep saturation of that Dendrobium livifolium really caught my eye. Um, most of the stuff he had was um, intermediate to cool growing plants. Um, he did have a Miltoniopsis phalaenopsis available as well, so I definitely had to pick one of those up. And he had a couple of staghorn ferns, some tropical blueberries, and a bunch of other really unique plants. And the last vendor that was there is Orchids Limited. And Jason Fisher was there um, with his huge Neo Phoenicia collection. And it was really cool to see the range and diversity that Neo Phoenicias can have. I may have mentioned this before, but they also had a special Neo Phoenicia show and judging on uh, Saturday. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend that event, but I know looking from all of the neos that they had there, um, it was going to be a spectacular display. Not only did he have neophonesias, but he had a lot of those Japanese orchids like the Dendrobium maniliforme and things like that. If you're really interested in variegation or leaf types and stuff, then that was definitely the booth to be at. It was my first time at Cal Orchids and I had such a blast going through the aisles, 
looking at all the plants, discovering some new ones that I never knew before. And I think that's the beauty of going to an orchid nursery is that there's always something new to discover, something new to see. And even though the plants aren't in bloom, you can just appreciate all of the skill and time and resources that are dedicated to growing these amazing plants. Now, of course, not everyone can go in person, so they do have a website and they have a couple of specials available um, for this event. So if you're interested, please check it out. So that was my trip to Cal Orchids and it was a beautiful place and I hope I'll go back there soon. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Attainable Green, to follow along on my orchid growing journey. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!